So once you get the uh, boards of uh, a specific uh, GI instance, you may want to of course do a bit more than just getting the list of boards. You may also want to get the list of let us say all the sprints that you have in a specific board. Now we talked about uh, the endpoint for getting the board. If you also want to get the sprints, you can simply use this endpoint called REST Agile 1.0 board followed by the board ID, which you can of course uh, fetch using uh, uh, the REST API. But once, once you have the number, the board ID, you can then further go in, into that particular board and take a look at all the sprints. For example, if I, lo if I look at my board, which is uh, this one, so I'm looking at my board where the board ID is, I know, is 14. Now in this particular board, you have different sprints or you can have different sprint sprints. Some of those sprints can be running in case you have parallel sprints or uh, you, you may have some sprints that are uh, planned for future. For example, um, I think uh, in my in my Jira instance or in this particular on this particular board, I believe uh, this particular sprint sample sprint five is uh, not yet started it it says here start sprint so it is a plan for future now let us see how it looks like when you use the rest api so i'm using the the endpoint that uh, we just saw rest agile 1.0 slash board then i'm using the board id 14 and the slash sprint so if i run this if i uh, make this rest call i will get all the uh, sp all the sprints that i have in my uh, in my, in my board, on my board. So you can see here that uh, you have, uh, I have a sample sprint one, which is closed. So you have the state of the, of the sprint. Uh, you can have the start date, end date. You can take a look at uh, other things like uh, a goal, for example, if you have a goal. And if you have a completion date, like complete date, then there will be a date field as well. So you do have these interesting things that I think uh, is important. For example, if you're looking at uh, your uh, sprint, which is not yet active, it is planned for future, you will uh, find this uh, state as future. So this is something that you can do uh, using REST API. And I think it, this can be important. And just getting the list of uh, sprints might be useful in case you want to maybe send it somewhere else or maybe you have another tool or maybe you want uh, this information to be displayed maybe in, in a report so now you know how to fetch the sprints of a of a board we'll continue um, looking at uh, what else you can do with the rest api for jira software and uh, we are doing this on cloud because uh, it is easy and since people are now moving towards uh, cloud they have to they don't really have any other choice use cloud or other or, or maybe use data center so a lot of people are now moving towards cloud and they want to do a lot of automation integration so that is why i am also now focusing just on the jira software cloud rest api but most of these things are also relevant for the server as well or i should say jira data center so these things uh, like you know the way we are looking at the rest endpoints the same concept applies for for the server version for the on-prem version so we'll continue looking at the uh, at the other endpoints uh, most of the uh, we'll, we'll, we'll not really cover each and every endpoint but we'll uh, we'll definitely take a look at the most important ones so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today thank you very much